Let's talk about this one. It looks like a meal right there. <laughs> a big All right. This is called Pearl Dock. Sorry. And this is kind of an unusual place for it. This prefers being out in open fields. You'll find it growing like horse fields and farmer's fields. They'll have this growing along the side of roads, ditches. This one's also kind of short. When it's young and still small, the leaves are really good. So we have a leaf here when the leaves are about half this size. At that point, uh, they're good in salads. They have a little bit of oxalic acid in them. So they have a bit of a tangy lemon sort of flavor to them, but not too strong. I have a Polish friend. She makes a sorrel soup out of it. Uh, where she mixes it, you know, she chops up the leaves and cooks them with cream and butter and garlic and wine and hours of labor and it tastes really, really good. I find if you just open up your can of uh, Campbell's Cream and Mushroom Soup and chop this and throw it in there and a dash of wine, it's oh, okay. almost the same, which really makes her mad. Uh, but later on, we have the seeds here and it'll form when they're brown, kind of a rust colored brown. The seeds are a really good source of food. Uh, they're easy, you just strip them off there's going to be three small seeds in each pod. Take the stripped off seeds, toast them, brown them, make them brittle, and then just rub them in your hand, and you're just breaking that outer husk off the seeds. It's called winnowing. You, you basically, you, you put them in your hands, you have a bowl below it and a fan blowing, and as you grind it, you just let it fall. The, 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 the outer coating, the brand, the fan will blow that away, but the seeds are heavier, they'll fall into the bowl, and you can collect them that way. They have a really nice nutty flavor. If you've ever, uh, had wheat berries, they taste like wheat berries. You know, so the the fresh wheat. Um, they do not have gluten in them, so you you can grind them and make a flour out of them, but it'll be a gluten-free uh, flour, so you won't be able to get the raised bread. But you can do the pancake type, muffin type things, uh, yeah, unleavened, you know, tortillas and so forth. Uh, side note: uh, if you make breaded things like uh, fried chicken with the breaded, you know, or fried okra, things like that. Gluten-free flours work better than the flours that have gluten in them because the gluten, uh, as the, the thing heats up and the st steam is starting to escape, the gluten holds it together. And so the breading just kind of pulls away from the food and falls off. So you get a better, tighter breading if you use a non-glutinous flour. Something to keep in mind here. And this actually makes a pretty good one. Bart? A curled dock. Curled dock. Curled yeah. dock. Curled dock. And like I said, you'll find this growing in the fields all over the place. This is kind of a short one. It'll get kind of taller. And actually, some of them will be about eight tall. But the, this will turn brown. The seeds when they're ripe.